Hi, my name is Danny Bruyak from Seal Beach. I'm the Long Beach Ambassador, and you are watching This Week in Pickleball. Pickleball rocks! Welcome back into This Week in Pickleball. This is Randall the Reporter coming to you live from my desktop. We're over a month into the quarantine. There's been various quarantine challenges put out there in the pickleball world. Probably the most famous and one of the first ones we saw is Mr. Kyle Yates, kyleyates.pv on Instagram. And he did one paddle, one ball, various flips and twists with his paddle. Let's go over here, put you over here for right now. And then the tennis community got involved with this and one Mr. RF got in the act with his little wall challenge. You hear that nice little pitter patter there. Then of course we had Andy Murray jump in with his 100 volley challenge. Everyone, I'm here with my wife Kim and we're gonna attempt a 100 volley partner challenge. I'm using a kid's racket though. Yes, she is using a kid's racket. So not to be left out, the Joker got involved. Andy, thanks for uh, nominating everybody in the tennis community. We feel All right, so they got like, into uh, it. We can match the, the challenge. And Nole just sent that one to the moon. To the moon, Nole. <laughs> thanks, Kim. Thanks, Andy, for challenging us. And uh, if you got any more challenges, we're here. We're available. We've got all the time in the world. And actually, funny you should mention that. <laughs> this is the funnest part of the day. <laughs> we do have one more challenge for you. See you guys. Someone else from the tennis community, a former pro, has his own challenge. The 100 Bump Volley Challenge. 904. The record is 904? Yep. Could you do that with the tennis ball? And my record with the tennis ball, um, with the tennis racket, was 705. 705, wow. That's harder with a racket. And that's when I was younger. But yeah. this 904 was last year. He was a sponsored player by Wilson. I'm 79 years of age playing in the 60s division. From 1960 through 64, I played five Wimbledons. And in that time, I also played the uh, French Open and I played half a dozen Australian Opens. Played at Wimbledon against Arthur Ashe. He lost, but he's very proud of playing against Arthur Ashe. Now we're gonna take you from the grass courts of Wimbledon back down to Seal Beach, where the seals are noisier than ever. This is where we found our mystery guest hiding out, down at the pickleball tournament at the Seal Beach Tennis Center, which also happened to be an official USA Pickleball Association sanctioned event. One year at Wimbledon, uh, it was 1963, in the first round I beat John Newcomb um, in five sets. Uh, it was 14, 12, 9, 7, 4, 6, 4, 6, 6, 3. And in the second round, um, I lost to Arthur Ashe. He, um, I won the first set, 7, 5. He won the second set, 7, 5. He won the third set, 11, 9. I won the fourth set, 6, 3. And he won the fifth set, 6, 3. And looking back, uh, are you sick of talking about your loss to Arthur Ashe? Absolutely not. I get more um, mileage out of that loss than um, a lot of my wins. So when you took the court, tell us about Arthur Ashe's status at that point as a player and where had he progressed to? Well, it was his first Wimbledon, but he was on the U.S. Davis Cup team. He was number three behind Chuck McKinley, who won Wimbledon in 63, and uh, Dennis Ralston. But I think that uh, he was really the better singles player than Ralston at the time. So I think Ash would have been rated in the top 18 or so in the world um, when I played him. And of course, years later, he won Wimbledon, beating Jimmy Connors. So two championship points for Arthur Ash. That's it, and he's done it. He really has done it. All right, now let's see if anybody else out there besides KylieYates.pb on Instagram or Federer or Andy Murray or the Joker can do the 100 bump volley challenge with a pickleball paddle and a pickleball in one take. If you can't match it in one take, try to break his records with either the pickleball paddle or a tennis racket. 
My name is John Hillebrand. And what's your record for uh, bouncing that ball on the paddle? 904. Has this been verified? <laughs> no, <laughs> just my word. But do you want to see me do a few hundred? And what's your record for um, the tennis and the tennis ball with the tennis racket? It's harder with the tennis racket and tennis ball, 705. Right. But that was done in my playing days when I was on the circuit. All right, let's see how many you can do right now before our battery dies. Go ahead. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. That's enough. Oh boy! That's we'll be back with more after this on This Week in Pickleball. You don't get content like this anywhere else. Not ESPN, not NBC, not CBS, not ABC Sports, not Entertainment Tonight. Only on This Week in Pickleball. Let's see if you guys can match what he did with a pickleball paddle and a pickleball in one take. If you can't match it in one take, try to break his records with either the pickleball paddle or a tennis racket. Hi, my name's John Hillebrand and you're watching This Week in Pickleball. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode with John Hillebrand as we're about to go over time. The greatest tennis player of all time is Rod Laver due to the fact that... We got the Wilson, a pickleball paddle, and the Wilson Pro Staff. Now, the person who uses the Pro Staff is Roger Federer. We all know this. Now, okay. what would you think of Roger Federer coming to play some pickleball? Oh, well, he'd be Do you know, uh, has Rod Laver heard of pickleball yet or played it at all? Or? He's heard of it. Um, that uh, when I spoke to him fairly recently, um, he said he So you spoke to him recently? Are you guys still friendly and keep in touch? Yes, um, I phoned him on his birthday. We both were born in the same hospital. We were both delivered by the same doctor. But I used to tell the English press that maybe as babies, we accidentally got switched, and I'm really Rod Laver. <laughs> <laughs> and what does he say to that? <laughs> oh, he knows that he doesn't take much. All right, so let's talk a little pickleball here. Let's get serious. You're just too fun. Tell us, how did you come across uh, Pickleball? Well, I was on Match.com. I was divorced eight years ago. 